the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. David, what a back and forth battle. You, you, you happy with your performance? Yeah, you know, um, uh, obviously I dropped him in the first. I thought I was going to finish him, and then all of a sudden the referee's on count three, and I thought, well, it's going in, trying to compose himself. Um, yeah, I can't, how can you not be happy with that knockout? It's got to be knockout of the night. <laughs> what happened there? Did you keep yourself too open in that moment? You felt too confident? I, yeah, I felt, I felt I've seen his, uh, when I mean, I put him down, I felt I was going to finish him, and then he caught me with something. Uh, the second round was a bit more uh, working on my boxing. He caught me some big shots again in the second round. I went back to my corner and, the th and they said, look, yo, throw that thing, throw the over the top. And it landed perfect. What a sweet shot. Was... Work us through that moment, through that knockout. Did you see the opening? Yeah, so um, as, as I said, uh, I, I was throwing the right, but I, was, wasn't throwing, I wasn't throwing my jab low enough. I threw a bit lower to the body a couple of times. The next one, I threw the overhand on the right. It landed perfect. Uh, I thought he was going to get up until he fell and the ref called it. How important was it for you to come back with that win after your loss in Newcastle? Yeah, you know, the, yeah, I don't feel it as a loss in Newcastle because it was a fight tonight, but I fought Terry six years ago and he beat me on points. So that's a redemption there, you know, that, that's how it should have been. So it's one each, so we got to do it again. We got to do a trilogy. So it got a little heated in the, at the weigh-ins. What did you two say to each other there? Well, we, we've been back and forth on, on WhatsApp and Instagram together. Um, I like Terry, he, he, we are friends, but it's business. Um, yeah, we, I, we just, I just said, I hope you're ready to go five rounds. I hope you're ready for the big shot. He, saw, he told me he wouldn't, he told me I wouldn't get out the first. I nearly didn't. Uh, he didn't make it out the third. Now, it's been quite a successful run for the Welsh fighters, right? Yeah. James Lilly with a great win, oh, no. you as well. So, in the space of a year, you've got two Welsh guys on. Uh, Lily's got a, you know, uh, Lily's got a co-main event. I've just been a featured fight. Lily was a featured fight for. The next to me has got to be a co-main or a main in Wales. You know, bring Big FC to Wales. Put me and Lily on the card, co-main and main events. So what is it about the Welsh fighters? We're just f***ing crazy, you know, we can fight, you know. We're from the end of the world, you know, everything's Wales and England. No, we're just hard, we're hard, hard men. Who do you want to call out next? <laughs> give, me the winner, give me the winner of uh, Danny Christie and Anthony Holmes. Yeah, I, I think, I, I love Danny, I, I, I have so much respect for Danny. I think, he, I think he'll beat Anthony, so give, give, me that, give, me, give me that title shot. You know, I've, I've won in Wembley, I put a fight the night on, I've just probably got knocked out the night. I think I deserve a good fight. Danny's there, Danny will take care of Anthony, so me and Danny, let's do it. Any family or sponsors you want to thank? Yeah, obviously, uh, De Rossi, Mandward, uh, Malborn, uh, Big Bear, uh, Spirit, Big, Spirit of Big Bear, uh, Violent Gentleman, all guys at home, uh, my, fa my, my wife, my two daughters are here, my daughter Lola that's watching at home, all my family. Thank you all for the support, you know, I can't do it without you. I'm David Round with Bear Knock and Lose, and nobody beats us to the punch.